podcast, everybody. How are you? What an exciting day for everyone involved. It's so exciting. Dan, how are you doing? Hey. 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 Dan, I don't know if you know this, but my uh, alert sound, my alert robot is Italian. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Scootish, for the 12 months. Wow, one whole year with Bobby regrets everything. Yeah, I do too, Scoot. It seems about on brand with Scootish. <laughs> <laughs> we have Dan here today. How are you, Dan? I'm good. How are you? I, I, I'm good. I just, you know, Fantastic. stepping out of Adobe for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Dan, your YouTube channel has been popping off. Yeah. We're have you, almost have, 100, have you been 000. keeping track? You are. Yeah. Wanna... We're, we're less than uh, seven, th 8,000 now. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. You're right there. Yeah. I'm almost there. I gotta drop your link in the chat here. I mean, everybody oh, knows hey. who you are anyway. Everybody here yeah, should know who Dan time. is. Uh, Dan, what have you been working on? Okay, are you allowed to say? Um, I, I mean, why I are you in you Adobe about... Hell? Is what I'm asking. Well, I'm oh, well. Obviously, with theory, it's always Adobe Hell. Mm -hmm. Well, explain uh, that you're the editor. You're one of the editors for Game yeah. Theory. Yeah. Well, I'm the head editor for Game Theory. That's so... the word I was looking for. Yeah. Do you want, you want to thank that person or should I keep going? No, you keep going. Uh, uh, so uh, what, what I for the podcast, I'm I'm supposed to mute the alerts, but I, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm a little gotcha. late today because I was getting my ass kicked in open chat in Smash Brothers two seconds ago. So oh, that's that's fair. I lost track of time. Uh, yeah. So I'm I'm the head editor of game theories and film theory and all that stuff. So all edits have to go through me. I'm the one giving all the notes to make sure everything is looking up to Matt's standards. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, like, beyond that, I've... The, my audience on YouTube has really picked up on these freaking FNAF fan tapes. <laughs> it's one of those things you don't... I mean, it's it's your bread and butter, but you don't, you don't like it. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, I mean, the thing is, is we've... Like, if you look at it, it's like found tapes, found tapes, mean bear tapes, all that stuff. And we've been just going through it because it's been easy uh, until we can actually get scripts written on the next couple videos. Okay. So, yeah, that it's it's been a lot of that. And it, honestly, if it wasn't for the giant subscriber boost and view boost, I probably would have moved on by now. But But it's helping a lot. Numbers are numbers sometimes. So you got you to gotta work the grind, you know? Mm -hmm. your henry stickman video now that was that was something that was that was such a dumb idea <laughs> it's a it's a choose your own adventure youtube uh video there's a lot yeah. and there's a lot of there's a lot of easter eggs <laughs> yeah i spent uh i thought we were doing pretty good on par uh i actually brought on a friend of mine jerica to help me edit these things uh she's been doing all the assembly work and all that sort of stuff and i've been going through and polishing and then we made her a character in the videos. Yes. And we were looking really good up until the day before upload. And then we were looking really bad. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I, there was a total of, I think, 35 different videos I had to edit. Um, oh, most for that, of one, them for that one, choose your own for adventure. For that one. Video. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was up until 10 a.m. the day of upload. And then I went to bed and I totally forgot to put the end card on that started the whole adventure. So everyone just watched a five minute video and went like, well, what's even the point? So you 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 forgot the choose your own adventure part of the whole. Yeah, God, I was I was so well, also livid. you had a problem because it like broke on mobile, right? Or something like that. Apparently on Amazon, like the fire pad or whatever the hell it is that they do um they don't have end cards yet so the some kindle? people couldn't play yeah the kindle apparently oh. it doesn't have end cards people were complaining that they couldn't pick end cards because they're on a kindle so then they don't get to watch it i'm sorry yeah <laughs> I, I mean like important. i can only do so much <laughs> that's that's dumb 
I I thought because it made it seem like uh, it was broken on mobile or something like you had to add cards, but really it was just for Kindle people. Fuck those people. Yeah, they, they don't get to watch it. Maybe you shouldn't have a Kindle. Yeah, yeah I upgrade. I don't know if that's the right move, but probably. Um. Anyway, uh, Mars, thanks for the seven months. Hey, Bob, I have nothing significant to highlight. So, uh, GG's, I guess. Yeah, he beat the crap out of me two seconds ago. Oof. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not happy about it. Um, with uh, what's the other guy that's not Ness? Lucas with a Lucas. He beat you with a Lucas. He beat me with a Lucas. I'm not happy about it. I don't want to talk about it. But then we don't need to. But we can go into great detail. Were you playing Captain Falcon? Did you try to punch him? Did you use the A button? <laughs> I did use the A button. He can uh, oh, attest to that. Hey. You know, we do have to talk about, we have to talk about all the exciting news that happened. Like, for example, today, Nintendo uh, uh, gave us some new information on their Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury gameplay. And also, there's a new Nintendo Switch. Yeah. It's red and pretty and it's Mario themed. So we haven't been getting a lot of announcements from Nintendo lately, it, it, especially game announcements and like Nintendo Direct stuff, you know? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's been quiet. It's been quiet. So people were kind of making a big deal that we were getting two minutes of a trailer of uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Uh, here it is. Um. I watched it and actually honestly this is a freaking great trailer oh absolutely i was actually like super stoked because it's it's i think it's all bowser's inside bowser's fury yeah i call it bowser's none of it was fury? anything else no it was just bowser which is good because they didn't say anything about bowser's fury before they just said it's mario 3d world you're getting that ported mm. plus bowser's fury and everyone's like what the hell's bowser's fury and honestly we still don't really know I, it's really hard to tell what it what they're trying to do with it. Like to me, it looked like a hybrid of what Super Mario 3D World was and Odyssey. Right. I mean, this is this. Well, actually, yeah, you're right. I I think I it's I, it, it's just it looks like it's in the engine of 3D World. Like it's just straight up 3D World, but yeah. it's kind of stylized a little bit like Odyssey. Yeah, because I can't. It, that doesn't look to be like a single level you play. It looks like there's just this open world. Go, go. <laughs> it, that that's what's confusing to me. So 3D world is is levels, like uh like little tiny sandboxes. Um, yeah. This I, we don't know if it's a DLC. <laughs> we don't know if it's a it's a new game. We don't know if it's just a, an additional world. Yeah, it look. Here's the thing, it looks short. I don't. Like, I mean, am I am I wrong? How well? How could you tell? You know. <laughs> yeah, I I know that's <laughs> a, that's the hard part. But it's just like they show fighting Bowser in the trailer so quickly that I was just like, is is, is it done? <laughs> I mean, it looks like they added a lot. I mean, you have uh, freaking mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bowser Junior following you around, which is interesting. So now he's on yeah. your side all of a sudden. Um, they, 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 uh, you, you get to ride what's his face? The freaking uh, dinosaur oh, yeah. guy? Plussy? I don't remember his name. The chat will Dad, remind you, me. You were, you're close enough. <laughs> um, also, this cat coin? I don't remember that. What the hell is that about? No, the cat coin's new. Whatever the cat star thing he grabs oh yeah did i skip that he's freaking turns into super saiyan mario like at the <laughs> end. oh it's this giant bell thing yeah the giant bell thing and then he's super cat mario sonic this is fulfilling a lot Go of fantasies it. yeah a lot of people would be very pleased <laughs> yes uh so that's the thing it's super mario 3d world slash bowser's fury bowser's fury is taking up less of the of the title mm -hmm. card right here so that leads me to believe it's pretty short i just hope that you can just play bowser's fury without playing 3d world if i could just hop into bowser's fury that would be great yes i don't yeah, really want I mean, to replay 3d world <laughs> I'm, I'm good I, I mean i had a lot of fun with 3d world but like having to go it's long 
it, it's it's not a quick thing you can run through. Yeah, I I just it's one of my least favorite. 3d mario games it's really good and i liked the time that i had with it but uh i i didn't think it was anything like remarkably special um and i think i i honestly think like i i just after this i looked up like the end of 3d world because like it was forgettable for me i completely forgot it i think Mm -hmm. that i at the end of 3d world there's like an extra world that you have to unlock with stars or something and I think when I got to that, I was like, I'm good. I don't need it. And, and I just, I don't think I ever beat 3D World. I think I stopped I, right at the end. I pushed through. I tried to, I don't, I don't know what it was about 3D World. Maybe it was because I didn't have a 3D Mario at that point on the Wii U. I don't, we didn't get a single 3D Mario on Wii U, right? No, this was it. Yeah, this was it. It's because they did not. For whatever the, reason, the I, I went hard on it and I unlocked the secret world and then there was a secret world after that oh. that was like you're um you know from galaxy the champion road or the uh second moon level on uh freaking odyssey where it's just super hard levels and God, that those those were some of the harder one hardest mario levels i think i've played it was it was stupid <laughs> I, I kind of like w- wish I could just plug in my Wii U and start from where I left off because I really don't want to have to play through the whole thing again. I, I want to The uh, AJ says there are multiple extra worlds. Now I wonder which one I got to. You probably got to the first one. Was it in the, the, the sky? It was in the sky and there was a lot of rainbows. Yeah, Going then on. there was one more after that. What's the one after that? It's even more rainbowy. Oh. Did you unlock Rosalina? I think. Then you must have played... Then maybe you did play Into the Secret World because I think you unlock her halfway through. I did. Well, yeah, I did play a little bit of at least the first Secret World and then I gave up. And mm-hmm. then I was like... Um, um, I didn't consciously give up. I just started playing another game. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't exactly. like rage quit or anything. <laughs> The natural progression of being a gamer. You just move on to the next thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, so I don't want to have to do that all again. I'm, I, I'm like, good. Like, I remember playing through it and I was like, you know, it was good, but I'd rather just jump into Bowser's Fury. Although 3D World, mm-hmm. I'm told, has uh, online multiplayer, which might be fun. Yes. If we can get four that people would be going through 3D World, that would be cool. But Bowser's I mean, Fury, I don't want to play with anybody. Bowser's Fury, I want to experience, you know, on my own. Separately. Yeah. But, I mean, we're going to do it, right? Yeah. Straight like, stream four player? We will do 3D World. Yeah. Yeah. At I want to do Bowser's bit. Fury on my own. Unless it's yeah, uh, unless it's the, the end of 3D World. Then we'll have to do it together. <laughs> we'll just have to play through the entire thing. Yeah. All together, it'll be a month long project. Well, no, we'll speed run it all on one stream. It'll be fun. Oh, okay, sure, we sure, sure, sure. We're good. <laughs> hey, we've beaten some Rubber Ross levels. Everything else is nothing. yeah. So uh, I'm. We're both doing the Rubber Ross world on on stream on our both of our Twitches. Um, I am on the. I'm in the. I'm towards the end of the third world now. You're further than that. I'm. I'm on the midway through the fifth world. There, there is one. There's like a, a a bottleneck. There is one level that broke me, <laughs> and I was doing it with my friends on the couch, and all of us, like they're they're normally like, ha ha, laugh at Dan's rage. All of us were just so unbelievably frustrated with everything that was happening. Do you know it was, what world that was? I think it, it was in the desert world. That must be the uh, it's, fourth or fifth one. It might, it'll be the fourth then, uh, because you you have to. There's basically two dry bones uh, that you have to walk between when there's wind, and there's no way to jump. So you just have to make sure that you carefully navigate. It's it's hell. <laughs> it is hell. A, a lot of the Ross levels seem like Ross was like, oh, I found this weird, annoying mechanic that you can do in Mario Maker. Let's make a whole level out of it. Yes, absolutely. That is what he does. Some of the levels, I, I'm, I'm like, no thanks. This one gets a boo from me. But some of them are really creative and cool. Mm-hmm. 
that there are some really interesting ones and then there are ones that are just like designed for pain so some of them are just straight up broken the mechanics he has mm -hmm. the, the i want to view things through a technicality <laughs> like i just well, yeah. happened to hit something right and i went through that happened with uh that water level you saw me struggling on uh, that was like the first yeah, the yeah second yeah. world there's this water yeah. level where you have to like uh you're being chased by a thwomp in a in a clown car and mm -hmm. uh it, it's that that's another mechanic that's straight up broken sometimes it doesn't follow you sometimes it gets ahead of you it's freaking stupid but uh he died i think towards the end or something something happened and i got like forced through a, an area where i wasn't supposed to be able to get forced through well you then, and then you just take it and you're like i'm done with this i'm done yeah. with this garbage i was like good whatever i'll do. some of these levels some of these ross levels you just have to play a thousand times and you'll get lucky on one of those times <laughs> yeah I, I think uh, I have a hundred deaths easily on that one I was talking about. A hundred. Chris BX says, F that level. I hated that level so much. I think he's talking about the one you're talking about. <laughs> Probably. Oh, he said, is it the ghost turtles? I think he beat, yes, yeah. I think Chris BX beat the whole Ross. The world. whole thing? I think so. Am I making that up? I don't know. It felt like it was getting a little easier as though, like he, start, he started to, get better at making the mechanics work rather than just kind of unlucky bs you have to deal with mm -hmm. so i don't know i'm well, gonna well, try to beat the entire thing but i'm not hopeful i saw his uh ross has a chart on twitter of his uh like like how long it took him to upload the levels mm -hmm. for each world so I, i'm using that kind of as a barometer for how hard the, the worlds are like the second okay. world wasn't that hard um mm -hmm. and that was actually i think the easiest for him to upload <laughs> so that, that that makes sense so i was i was like i'm not getting better this is just an easier world <laughs> yeah i mean the fifth the fifth one i'm not that i blasted through it but it is significantly easier than the fourth world the fourth world is just the worst i'm i'm my the next time i stream uh the next time i stream mario maker it will be the fourth world probably I, I think I have one more level of the third world. So I don't know. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, thanks, man. But you know, we'll all come out stronger. We'll get a medal afterwards. Hell right? yeah. Right, Chris BX? You right? got a medal? Yeah. Other things got announced today, though. We got a new Switch. Wow. It's the new Switch everybody's been waiting for. That was coming out today. That's coming out soon. Whatever. Uh, here we go. Nintendo of America Mario Red and Blue Edition Ooh, uh, has a distinct red and blue color scheme in honor of Mario's iconic outfit. Available beginning at 212. It comes with a red and blue uh, carrying case to help protect your system as you travel through those warp pipes. That's not real. Somebody should tell them that's, that's not real. That's not a real thing. Don't lie to us. Is this the day Bowser's uh, Inside Fury comes out? <laughs> Inside Fury Cup? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, oh, I could just click on this and double check. Yeah, 12th of February. I thought it was coming out in January. I thought so, too, when I saw that they did the trailer. And then I looked it up. I'm like, oh, I guess we do have a little bit more time. Was there an initial release date? Oh, initial release date. <laughs> November 21st, 2013. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's that helpful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it got delayed or whatever, but I mean, February is not too far away. Nah. But I wish that this came out like two years ago. This is right. This this is. I mean, I'm gonna get it. I mean, come on now. But <laughs> this is. I think this is like perfect. I love like almost everything about this, except for this <laughs> stupid <laughs> fucking kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> why dude it's so dumb <laughs> you made everything red i'm so happy that the switch itself is actually red and the dock is red so f you know when the animal crossing switch came out they finally changed the dock color the whole dock right. the plastic was was like this off white and it's like wow they could actually change the plastic color they're learning but we still mm -hmm. had the switch was still black yeah but now they were able to extend the color onto the Switch and it's beautiful looking in these promotional pictures. 
And then there's the kickstand. And then there's the kickstand, which is still freaking black. Now, I thought that that was just them being lazy. But people uh, in on Twitter brought up some good points that it's probably because they know you're going to lose the kickstand and they don't want to replace... Or, or that you could break the kickstand and they don't want to replace it with an official Mario red kickstand. They don't want to have those parts laying around. Yeah. I mean, in all fairness, it's still lazy. <laughs> they just know that <laughs> it's going to break. So that is true. <laughs> we don't have time to fix the kickstand and make a better product. So this one will break and we'll get over it. Yeah. Um, the kickstand notoriously flimsy falls off all the time uh this one oh this is my okay so this is my old one okay so this right here is my oh can i do this i'm gonna test fade here oh look at that wow whoa all right so this one right here is my old switch the one that i put android on uh it's the original one right this is the original one yeah right. it has the yeah. animal crossing joy con because they're messed up sure <laughs> so it's it's, the, it's an original switch um yeah my kickstand used to just fall off all the time yep it like like Same. super easily it was it was super uh not not just like you put it down and it falls off like it would just flop off because it was just it just wore off so much um so they make like replacements that you could buy on Amazon. This one does not come off at all. You you can what? It, it's it's like attached. You you can't you can't pop it off. Huh? But it could break. Like if I put it down yeah, and I obviously. put too much pressure on it, I could break it off. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't. It doesn't. Like that's why the the that's why the actual switch. That's why this will just. This will just pop off because they don't want you to break it. They want you to be able yeah. to reattach it. This Animal Crossing one actually is pretty secure. Like, this is the stock one, I believe. Yeah, I thought the new Switch uh, kickstand... It, I mean, it's definitely better. But that's that's it. It's just a little better. Like, my original one was loose. It would just... It wouldn't click in. It would just open up randomly. Do you think that's something they changed without telling anybody? Because... I think so. This one's I, definitely I, better. I noticed that it was like because I went to GameStop. I traded in my old Switch to get the new Switch, and I I flipped it out, or I went to go check the kickstand. It felt like there was like a rubber piece on it. There now, is on the bottom. And it was, yeah, and it was stiffer. Oh. So I do think I do think they made a change and just didn't tell anyone. Which honestly. That, that's a selling point better yeah. kickstand <laughs> why not brag about that i just thought mine just got flimsy over time but also like i don't ever use the kickstand i've never played freaking tabletop mode no I, I i use the kickstand like maybe once or twice before i realized this is a terrible idea i'm just I, gonna play portable or docked i have one of these things it's like an ipad holder <clears throat> or something actually oh, nice. i think this one's specifically for the switch uh right I, I don't have an amazon link i'm sorry everybody but uh yeah it just plops in here and has a little spot for the charger um but that's you nice. know you're not going to be carrying that around anywhere that's just for no. like pictures and stuff but anyway uh i think this switch looks really pretty except for that kickstand but it is what it i is. agree i i have the um back when they just released the joy cons in the in the mario red i think it was when odyssey was came out i can't remember exactly yeah, i ordered like the, the odyssey but it was only in japan for yeah. a while this is this is the yeah one. yeah 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 i i love that color of red yeah I, I actually the, broke the one of them one of them's broken it just doesn't work anymore <laughs> what did you do <laughs> i i ordered it from play asia because i really wanted that color because there's like barely any joy yeah. colors when that game came out uh and i was like that's oh, yeah, what yeah. i want i want this one and i spent like an absurd amount of money to get them imported <laughs> but uh yeah, I broke one of them. One of them just doesn't work. It's just some of the buttons just don't work. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, that's that. That's it. But it is a great color. Uh, this I'm assuming mm -hmm. is the same color red. But I don't know. I, it I looks assume a it's brighter. the same color. It. Yeah. This is. But even this then, looks pretty dark. Yeah. But even then, it looks great. I I love the color scheme. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. 
uh the blue grip whatever i'm gonna throw that in the trash probably anyway <laughs> um and it comes with a nice little uh case that looks like a pdp case but who knows mm -hmm. with a cool little with cool little mario icons on it i like these i'm a big fan of these slim uh switch cases that's what i use when i yeah. take my switch places uh, the big question everybody has is, uh, but what about getting a Switch Pro? Because everyone thinks we're going to Switch Pro sometime in March or April. So that's the big question now is like, I, this I, one looks cool. Should I get this though or just wait for a new one? I, I mean, out of every like gaming company that uh, was affected by the pandemic, I feel mm -hmm. like Nintendo definitely felt like they got hit the hardest or at least they slowed down the most. I definitely feel. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like they they were the ones... I mean, ev I feel like every company was affected, but I feel like other companies oh, were yeah. like, we're working through it, everybody buckle in, we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're still getting things out. And then they ended up having trouble anyway. But Nintendo was yep. like, fuck it, everybody stay home uh whatever comes out comes out we got enough money in the bank to make it through all this um yeah they, i feel like they cared the least about their deadlines but also i mean I, I, that's I what agree. they didn't announce stuff you know that they, they, they other companies were really quick to announce release dates so mm -hmm. they kind of were obligated to release stuff or, or at least delay stuff nintendo secretly delayed stuff yeah because they just kind of said things were going to come out and then if it wasn't ready, they just went like, yeah, guys, it's not ready. Yeah, that's why I and think that. I think that there are plans for a new Switch. I don't think it's a pro. I think it's a, you know, just a new revision of the Switch. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's delayed. I think it'll probably be around the summer or fall. I think it was supposed to probably be March or April, but it's probably going to be a little longer. But also, like... Yeah. Uh, it's not unlike Nintendo to have a special edition console towards the end of its... Uh, I don't want to say it's the end of the Switch oh, life cycle. N no, but I, I know what you're saying. It's the end of this iteration's life cycle. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been four years, this Switch. Has it really? This is the... We're coming on the... F it's it's going to be four years in, uh, in uh, March. Yep, we're old, Dan. <laughs> we're very old. When you get older, years just kind of like just whiz by. Well, the last like year and a half was just a, just a blur. Yeah, I haven't left my apartment since uh, last March. It's probably a smart idea. Mm -hmm. Um, somebody in the chat said that uh, it's definitely a brighter red this this switch i just i don't go by the nintendo pictures <laughs> the nintendo pictures are actually you know we could just pull up uh mario odyssey joy con because nintendo's pictures are oh, always yeah. always way different the, oh here's the box oh wait that's the one i want this picture give me this picture uh, it it looks it like a little does cherry. Look, yeah. Where's the? There we go. No, here we are. Yeah, I just I I never trust these. Um... Oh wow, that look that looks a oh, lot God. more like. <laughs> oh, that's very different. It's like almost purple. Jeez. I wonder if it might be closer to the original. Oh yeah. Red. No, that's 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 neon. It they was, call that neon, it's neon red. yeah. So it's like right in between the neon red and the deep. Oh wait, it looks oh. it does look a lot like the neon red. Uh, boop, boop. It does look a lot like the neon red. Yeah. Interesting, interesting huh. choice. It's not the Mario red. This is the Mario red. I do like yeah, the neon Mario red no colors. Red. Yeah. You know, when the Switch first came out, I was like, I don't like the neon. The neon's too bright. And then, uh, uh, so I, I pre-ordered the gray like an idiot. And then I saw... Same. 
I saw them in person. I was like, they're, they're neon. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it, that, that's exactly why I, I, Alyssa was like, I want to get the neon. I want to get the neon. And I'm like, all right, well, we'll get the neon joy cons as well as getting the gray. <laughs> So I saved up money to get both, and then I got the gray. I'm like, why did I do this? Mm. The gray is so lame compared to everything else. Yeah, it, it really is. <laughs> I was like, ah, the neon's for kids. Then I was like, oh, I guess I'm a kid. I want that. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got Chris BX, the Mario Maker champion, with 30 months. Thank you, Chris BX. Okay. And Ethel with 17 months. Yay! Glad Dan is here. Thanks for always being wonderful, Bob. Hope we can get all the cute boys back together soon. We try. That is a constant, <laughs> a constant DM conversation on Twitter. We uh, we almost did, and then uh, and then MDB what? dropped out for a reasonable. Ex uh, this time it was reasonable. Oh yeah, but that was also the day Sephiroth just just friggin' came randomly out. dropped. Yeah. yeah, so it's good that we didn't do anything. Yeah, uh, but no, we will be playing. We're Minecraft working on it. soon. I'll build more bridges. I'm gonna build the best goddamn bridge. I'm excited. I'm gonna look and up like to see you die. You guys don't appreciate <laughs> the deaths that I had building that bridge. <laughs> now you can get across without dying. I had to. Yeah, I had right. to make a lot of sacrifices in order for that to happen. It's not like you hey, die I mean, building a house. So you you did crowd control right? For yes. Mario 64? Yes. Uh, I did it for Super Mario 3. That was it was a great time. Uh, they can do it on PC on Minecraft. Oh. And we could just let the audience just totally destroy everything. Oh, no. We yeah. should do that for a charity. That'd be good. That'd be great. Oh, we should do that. How many people can you get in a Minecraft server? Uh, I, I mean, it depends if we, like if one of us hosts it ourselves, which I would not recommend, but we could like rent a server for a day. We should do that with, get... with like everybody and do a charity thing. Yeah. That'd be cool. I'm down. And do I'm the totally crowd down. control and everything. Yeah, I can, uh, I guess I could start looking up getting a server and getting crowd control installed on it. Can you, is there a way to do crowd control with multiple Twitch streams though? Would everybody have to log in on like the same that's that's a good question i mean depending on who like if we have enough people with enough clout we could probably just reach out to crowd control and say this is what we want to do for charity that's a good so i mean I, let me back up a minute for everybody in the chat crowd control yeah. is a plugin on twitch where the community can change what's happening in the game by donating bits and stuff uh he just did it with uh with mario 3 so the if you're watching him on Twitch, you can uh, give him power-ups. You can also throw more enemies in. You can uh, make the ground slippery so it's harder. Stuff like that. And the same thing with Mario 64 when I did it. Uh, you could just... There was one where you could just donate $5 and kill me. It was just an instant kill. <laughs> it was the fucking worst. <laughs> I didn't realize that was on the 64 one. It was only five. Actually, I think it might have been cheaper than $5. It was it was ridiculously cheap. I was like, you oh got to get this off of here. <laughs> um, Scootish says, I have a Minecraft server if you guys need it. It can host 250 people. <laughs> I mean, we could do... You know how everybody's doing Rust right now on Twitch? We can do Minecraft and leave the server up for like a week. Mm-hmm. And just have everybody yeah. do that and have all the crowd control get, you know, put in a pot and donated to whatever. I don't know. We'll pick oh, something. yeah. Like spend the entire week allowing people to rack up coins and stuff so they can use it on. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look into it. I'm playing more crowd control tonight. Okay. Or I'm going to do Mega Man X and see how <laughs> much of a nightmare that's going to be. <laughs> that's that's going to be messed up. There's one that just, just just does high gravity whenever they feel like. So, you know, <laughs> the most important jumps, I am screwed. <laughs> that sucks. When I when I did Mario 64, I also did a randomizer. So not only was it crowd control, but it was also every like all of the assets were randomly switched around. Every time you enter a picture, like to go into a yeah. level, it takes you, you to go a different level. And then when it kicks Bob. you out, it kicks you out a different picture. 
So you so you just go all over the castle. <laughs> so it was that plus crowd control. It was messed up. <laughs> Do not recommend. Oh my god, that's Oh, that's a good time. Anyway, uh sidetrack. <laughs> there's this is something that I was not aware of until just now. Uh, Nintendo of America tweeted, also purchase Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury and complete 14 additional Mario themed missions to become eligible to receive the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary pin set uh, available in limited quantities and while supplies less. So this is a different pin set than what they just had or is this the second wave? Because I did not get the first wave. This, I, I didn't get the first wave either. I don't know what happened. It seemed like my account glitched out because I definitely completed all of the missions and it just wouldn't say that I did to send it in. But this looks like it picks up from Sun uh, from Sunshine and then Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2, 3D World, Odyssey. Oh. So it seems like it just continues the story. What's the first pin set? The first pin set, I think, was... Um, the original like the first up through 64 yeah i mean logically that would make sense oh this is the new one damn it damn it i also completed all of the missions i just forgot to to order them i'm yeah. an asshole i'm very mad at myself i think the top one the top the top one? link had it yeah, oh sure pin set number one yeah, yeah, yeah wait are you telling me i could just buy for zero dollars zero dollars oh. wait they still have pins can I get this right now? Well, hold up. I gotta turn I gotta take this off the screen. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> this product requires a My Nintendo promo code. For more information, go to My Nintendo. Okay. So that just seems like do the you can still do the missions and how do I how do I get the promo code? Uh, they, they, this website is just Chat. so hard to freaking get through. Chat help me out. Just take me to Mario. <laughs> Redeem points. Uh no. There's you have to go to like the specific Mario 35th anniversary site if I remember right. Mario 35th anniversary site. I still can't spell anniversary correctly. Official home of Mario. see as far as i know the pin set is no longer uh there. no so they remove see all missions oh i have not completed the missions power up. oh but okay so oh, they finished wave, wave two. one yes yeah so you can't go back and get them now okay so this is wave two mm -hmm. so i only have five out of 20 missions learn more see all missions uh, purchase Bowser, <laughs> buy Bowser's uh, in uh, Bowser's Fury. Why do I want to say Bowser's Inside Fury? Bowser's Inside Story. That's why Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. That's why. Which God, I've never played. So I don't know why. Much random crap you need. To purchase do. the the Super Mario 3D World. Yeah. Okay. Uh, participate in the Splatoon 2 Splatfest. Shit. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. Uh, well, but we gotta. Well, I'm gonna have to have. Pins. I'm gonna have to have misclick Sherpa me through uh, Splatfest. Uh, <laughs> sign up yeah, for this. Let me know when you do that so yeah. I can join. <laughs> <laughs> sign up for the Splatoon Two Splatfest online challenges. Okay, we have to do this before January 17th. That's not a lot of time. That's Sunday. Yeah, but look at all these things that have ended already. Oh. What? Participate in the Nintendo versus Challenge Cup? Are you kidding me? Do you have to do every mission? Yeah, you do. Sign up for the Nintendo versus Challenge Cup. I... Okay, so there's 20 available missions. You have to do 15 out of the 20. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. That's good. And I would assume that there are Let's see, how many are locked? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> that means it's impossible if you didn't do any of the locked ones. If you it's missed the locked ones, it's over. If you, I mean, made a, if you made a My Nintendo account now, 
you cannot get the pin set is what you that cannot means. get the pin set participate in the tetris 99 18th maximus cup and that ended <laughs> explore lunch boxes super mario must have ended S- sign up for the nintendo versus challenge cup i feel like i might have did done that I well, I don't have Mario Kart Live, so I wonder if I can even get that. Wait, that was a Mario Kart Live thing? There was one that's m- create a Mario Kart Live home circuit racer ID. Okay, I did that. Why does your say ends April 1st, but mine says ends March 31st? Oh, East, Co- East Coast versus West Coast. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it shows my completed ones. Sign up for yeah. the Super Mario Maker 2 Ninja Speed Run Online Challenge, okay? Participate in the Super Mario Maker 2 Ninja Speed Run Online Challenge, okay? Which it probably ended. Or no, you could probably just do any Ninja Speed Run. No, no, the Ninja Speed Runs are both ended. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Play Super like, Mario Bros. You have 35. To be on top of this to know to get this pin set. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of absurd. Like, so so yeah, it's impossible if you didn't do any of this. It, if you didn't do, if you haven't been up to speed on Nintendo stuff, like everything Nintendo, including Tetris ninety nine, then you uh, then you you lose. You don't get the pin set. You lose. That's freaking no, I, insane. I do think I'm still going to do redeem a code from Cold Stone Creamy Creamery because if they got Nintendo like a Mario ice cream thing, I want in. <laughs> uh, you know, they had that a while ago. I think this is like the second wave of, yeah. of Mario ice cream yeah. and I still haven't had it. I love Cold Stone. I could enter a sweepstakes. That looks like the way you're going to get it now. Uh, enter and. En- Entry into the Mario, my Nintendo Super Mario Brothers sweepstakes wave two. So it looks like the only way you're going to get this freaking thing is if you, yeah. if you oh, win it. The grand prize is 10 shirts. <laughs> Thanks, dude. And they're all going to be like it's extra large. shirts. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Why? An Wait. Action figure. Oh, it's got two statues and the pins, but also... 10 shirts this is uh very annoying they they should have they should give out like a hundred pin sets you know that mm-hmm. should be like the like the like yeah, the base like prize. prize yeah like because because who's gonna freaking get this nobody's gonna get this they're gonna have so many of these there's no way i mean i'm entering now so big money i want them 10 shirts was the code not also in an email says marimba pirate Wait, well, even if you have the question. code, though... I almost just logged into my email on stream. That's good. I almost showed my address the other day. I, I, I clicked on Uber Eats, uh-huh. and I had it on screen, and I was like, oh, don't don't look at that. And then I looked back Uh-oh. at the VOD. I was like, I got to delete the VOD. My address is on screen, but it was cut off at the top. I, I had to delete a VOD. Uh, 100%. I pulled out a box to unbox. on. I think it was the Fogs. Uh... No oh, god. <laughs> that Jack said does not like here it is. All right, I got to delete this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have that should go to a PO box. I don't trust yeah. anybody anymore after 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 uh, the ESA. After that shit. Yeah. I'm just going through my email Nintendo. Uh at so many emails that say Nintendo in it. This is a terrible idea. Nintendo pin set. Boo, your spooky Nintendo news for October is here. All right, I didn't get it. There's no way. (laughs) (laughs) Nintendo 30. Man, that email spooked the heck out of me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no, there's nothing here. It it is. It it is what it is. Oh, well. That's a bummer, though. It is a bummer. My brother got them, so that's good for him. I don't know why you, I didn't. You'll probably be able to do it. Well, not the new one. It's 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 yeah. it's dumb. They they it's like no way you can get. I mean, I'm 
pretty on top of this shit. And how am I supposed to know I got to freaking play uh, Tetris 99 if I want this pin set? <laughs> What are the and you want to know something that like we, we say that we'd like how would we have ever known and how many times have you booed up your switch and ignored all of the news on the left <laughs> side <laughs> all my news is in Japanese because I have one Japanese account and it's not my main account <laughs> it's all in Japanese yeah. for some reason is it still yep you can't see it I don't know why I even yeah. I, I try, it's I try, Japanese I try. Uh, like, how am I supposed to know I'm supposed to go to bo boxlunch.com and explore it? Why would I even want to go? <laughs> how would it even know? Oh, visit boxlunch.com slash my Nintendo. But you'd have to... You'd have to I mean, log in, right? How would it know that you did that? Um, yeah, you use the link that's on there. Oh, look at all this. Whoa. Yeah, but how would you have used the link before January 1st? Maybe I have it's no idea. maybe this is bugged. Maybe. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the what they have on the store right now. It's actually pretty cool. I'm checking it to see if Nintendo Life has anything on it because that that seems fishy. Bob, try to complete them. I just completed the box launch one right now. Oh, I am so less says that. It seems like well, it might I just, be bugged. Oh, uh, it didn't work for me. So how would how how does it know that I went and visit? Is that the Tom Nook button up? <laughs> I have too many tabs open right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This I might need to get this. <laughs> I need to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Thanks, honey. Yeah, how how does it, it I follow guess it, the button? It puts prompts? a cookie on your computer, right? And that's how it knows. Didn't work for me. I mean, you would have to click through the. Well, it says he says follow the button prompts. I will follow the button prompts right now. Okay, visit. Click here to check it out. This is great uh, podcast uh, material. Yeah, right this now. is going to be really good when you listen to it. I mean, it's uh, informative though. If you want to get the freaking pin set, you know. Scroll down oh. to discover more map. No, just click that. Just click the banner. Start your mission. <gasps> That's it. <gasps> oh, we can do it now. Six. We just unlocked one of them. Oh. oh, you need one more. I mean, so what else could? I could probably just make a, an ID. Oh no, no, that's an easy one. I need to do a locked Wonderful. one, right? Yeah, that was Race the only in one the that Super was Super Mario locked. Kart tour event. There's probably going to be another tour event. All right, well, we'll, I'll figure this out later. We should move on to something else. Yes, yes. Did the Tetris ninety nine Maximus Cup end? Yeah, I would assume so. Whatever. It's possible they can add more missions soon, like their first wave had some added later. Oh, okay, that's good to know. All right, there we go. Hopefully, so hopefully that happens because this is uh, a little ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. All right. Uh oh. Here's some interesting non-Nintendo news. Oh, Ooh. my stream crashed. In other news. Great. Um, do you know this? This happens to me all the time. Why does this happen? It just crashes, and then I have to stop the stream. I gotta go. Remember all the problems that I had that I was telling you about? Yeah. I gotta stop the stream. I gotta go into settings, and I gotta change the Twitch server that I'm streaming from. I'm still recording a lot oh, though, so so YouTube people get to hear this. Oh, good. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to YouTube. If you have anything special to say to YouTube people. This is the time. Um, uh, sub subscribe to Fanatics 4 for news oh. about Crash Bandicoot exclusives. Wow. AJ will hate that later. That's right. just for him. <laughs> We're back. See? It's oh, that easy. There we go. Anyway, we got Machine Games is making an Indiana Jones game. Oh, Will's so excited. Nice. Oh, here's the trailer. It's just yeah. here. Just on Twitter. Oh. 
it, it's yeah you're right there's nothing special it's just a desk that has a bunch of crap on it and i guess it's all indiana jones uh themed i don't know who machine games is i it sounds really familiar to me at the end of this trailer is just a hat and then he lifts up the hat and there's a whip and that's all you know that relates it to indiana jones my brother's actually a big fan of indiana jones games specifically for some reason but there hasn't been one in a really really long time the last one i think was for n64 huh okay so that's that's why i recognize them they did wolfenstein the oh. the new the new uh rebooted version oh will like that too so i i just started playing the uh i think what i started on old blood because in the timeline it comes first it's, it i mean they do a really good job It'd be really interesting to see what they're gonna do with uh indiana jones though because that's not really a first person shooter type of game that's more you know i hope they don't Tomb make Raider. it i hope they don't make it a first person shooter because <laughs> that would be what they do I, i'm not about that <laughs> the last indiana jones game was the staff of kings for the wii ds psp and playstation 2 playstation 2 playstation 2 i'll remind you we are now on the playstation 5 <laughs> <laughs> just a little heads up just a little reminder that was 2009 it's been 11 years 12 oh years oh my god 12 years since an indiana jones video game uh the other ones are like there's a blackberry game there's a uh lego indiana oh, jones lego thing indiana jones world on facebook which doesn't count as a game Pork Chops' Staff Franchise. of Kings is not a good game. People say that about a lot of Indiana Jones games. <laughs> like the ones for the end, but Will likes them for some reason. Um, I mean, guilty pleasure, right? Yeah, I mean, we have had some Indiana Jones games. For example, the Uncharted games. Those are just Indiana Jones games. Yeah, that's just kind of the Indiana Jones games that uh, people, people were wanting. Oh, there is an article here. Uh, Bethesda Studio Machine Games is making an Indiana Jones game. The publisher announced in a short teaser on Twitter. The game will feature an original story and be a collaboration between Machine Games and Lucasfilm Games. That's cool. With Todd Howard as an executive producer on the project. Bethesda ah. didn't reveal anything Bethesda. further about the game in its brief Twitter thread and wrote it'll be some time before... It has any more information about it to share. So expect it in like three years because it's Bethesda. Mm -hmm. Machine Games. And it'll be half finished. Machine Games founded in 2009 <laughs> by former Starbreeze developers. Uh, interesting. That's the last time there was a Indiana Jones game. Starbreeze yeah. developers. Former Starbreeze developers is responsible for the most recent trilogy of new Wolfenstein games, including Wolfenstein The New Order, The New Colossus, and Youngblood. Lucasfilm Games, meanwhile, is Lucasfilm's newly announced video game publishing label. After the LucasArts name was abandoned allowing Disney at, following Disney's acquisition of Lucasfilm in 2012. Yeah, I was going to say... Yeah, I thought that was a thing. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> Lucasfilm... Uh, Lucas, no, Lucas Arts. Lucas Arts is not around anymore. So yeah. now they're they're reborn as Lucas uh, as of as of a day ago. Hmm. Oh my God, this is amazing. Lucas, this is according to StarWars.com. Lucasfilm huh. Games begins a new era. Lucasfilm's legacy in gaming stretches back decades. Oh, I know. And with Lucasfilm and the galaxy far, far away, entering a new. Uh, unprecedented phase of creativity so will the world of lucasfilm games developed in collaboration with the finest studios across the in industry i'm gonna play this youtube video uh without audio because i'm gonna get slammed starwars.com is thrilled to reveal that lucasfilm games is now the official identity for all gaming titles from lucasfilm a name that encompasses the company's rich catalog of video games and its eye towards the future to mark this new era lucasfilm games has launched a social launched social channels on twitter lucasfilm games uh on twitter and on facebook lucasfilm games 
uh, which will deliver breaking news and more directly to fans. Blah, blah, blah. We, we get the idea. Um, mm -hmm. So this is amazing. Star Wars, after the Disney acquisition, Disney gave, Disney dissolved the Lucasfilm, LucasArts, which is the game arm of yeah. Lucasfilm. They dissolved that and they gave all of the Star Wars license to EA. And EA took a big fat dump all over the Star Wars license. Which is on brand. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people liked Fallen Order. Um, the new yeah. Rogue Squadron game. Rogue. I keep, why do I keep forgetting the uh, name? Because it's not Rogue. I have it right here. Look Squadrons. It. Squadrons. It's the, it's the other word. Oh, they, the there Rogue it is. Squadron. <laughs> there it is on screen. Um, yeah. People liked that. Um, but Battlefront 2 was not great. Um, mm -hmm. they, they could have done a lot more with this license. Star Wars has mm -hmm. the Star Wars license has some amazing games in it, and oh yeah, absolutely. D Disney made a huge no no when they uh, gave when they gave it all to EA, and they just kind of forgot about the game's arm. So mm -hmm. it's great to see that Lucasfilm Games is around, and they they announced uh, Indiana Jones. Probably because EA still has the the Star Wars license for at least a little bit. I I guess yeah. So it's probably going to be like a little while until we hear about any new games that are going to be Star Wars related. Anyway, it, it's almost like the bigger news in all of this is that Lucasfilms Lucasfilm Games exists now. Yeah, I didn't even realize. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I I mean. <sighs> I'm I'm a little nervous uh, on like an Indiana Jones game because my biggest worry is like it's already going to be compared to Uncharted and uh, Tomb Raider at this point. Oh yeah, like, that's... They, they've cut, yeah they they set they've set that standard and now it's going to be like uh, this is this is just uh, Uncharted but with the protagonist I wanted originally but now I kind of like Nathan Drake. Yeah, I I saw some somebody on Twitter said uh, I I'm really gonna hate my life when uh, a young games industry journalist starts comparing uh, Indiana Jones to Uncharted or, or, or saying like yeah, like this is just an this is just an Uncharted clone. That, I know that's gonna hurt real bad. Yeah, I mean I, I mean I, I, I'm happy with Uncharted because. It's it's the Indiana Jones game that we should have had, you know. They, they weren't doing yeah. much with the Indiana Jones license, so Naughty Dog was like, "We can do that, and we can make it better." Yeah. And they did. They they did a better mm -hmm. job at whatever uh, the Indiana whatever they were doing with the Indiana Jones license. But, but are they yeah, done with Uncharted? Just... Was four it? Four or, or so did they, they did say four, three was it? Was... Say again? Did they say three was it? And then they were like, "Here's four. I th I think they finished three. I don't think they wanted to. I I think Naughty Dog wanted to hang it up, but uh, Sony kind of was like, maybe you should just do it anyway. And they're like, all right, fine. Yeah, we want more money, guys. So <laughs> yeah. make another one. So yeah, then Last of Us came out, and they're like, oh, well, we could do The Last of Us then. <laughs> <laughs> Edible Jim Sock in the chat says, "Do you think they're getting Harrison Ford to be indie? Absolutely not. Harrison Ford doesn't want to do anything anymore." Yeah, he just wants done. to fly planes into the ground <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> oh, he just wants God. to go to golf courses, not to golf, to crash into them. Uh, oh, we also got 100 bits from Oh Look, It's Eddie Kappa. Bob, if you do a Minecraft stream soon, I'll do a $100 gift sub. No. What you'll do is $100 in bits to get coins to do crowd control, which will then maybe be donated to charity. I don't know how that's going to work. They Crowd control has a charity feature through Tiltify. Oh. So when donations go in, it'll mess with us. All right. I'm always saying charity because if we all do it together, it would be easier. You know? Yeah. Well, you, I, I, I just assumed you needed one crowd control account, and then 
if mm-hmm. it wasn't going to charity, one person would get all of the money that was, you know, being donated. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I've been wanting to do a charity stream for a while. I could just never get around to actually like scheduling one out and making it happen. Yeah. So with multiple people working on one, maybe, maybe have I never done a charity. I don't think I've ever done a charity stream. I did like small I'm, ones that I didn't like advertise. Cause I was like, I'm mm-hmm. like not embarrassed. I just, I, I didn't want to make a big deal about it. You know? Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, next news. Artist claims Super Nintendo World website is using his fan art. I saw this on Twitter, and I'm not surprised at all. Um, so this is the website for Super Nintendo World, the uh, the theme park in Japan. I'll just read the article. Uh, new website for what I just said. I'm going to skip that paragraph. I love how (laughs) Nintendo New York used my old ass Mario render in their official Nintendo World website. A Twitter user and Mario fan artist Yuji Dao tweeted earlier that day. Their image of Mario was created roughly three years ago using the open source animation software Blender and was shared on Reddit at the time. The Mario model used for the render wasn't one of Nintendo's, but instead belonged to 3D artist Rafa Knight who shared it for download on their Patreon in 2017. What? So it's a... So I'm confused. It's a... It's it's somebody else's model that he took a picture of? No, okay. So the Mario model was used for the render... Oh, no. It's just a really confusing sentence to say that uh, this wasn't Nintendo's, it was his. But there's two different people. There's really Yuji weird. Dao and there's Rafa Knight. Oh, wait. That's what I'm looking at. The Mario model used for the render wasn't one of Nintendo's, but instead belonged to 3D artist Rafa Knight, who shared it for download on their Patreon. But but Yuji Dao is saying that it's his render. So are you meaning to tell me that it's stolen it's <laughs> stolen and then restolen? that's kind that... of what it sounds like unless it was unless it's a model that he posed anyway they didn't respond for comment of course um yeah. now the images seems to be on the front page of the universal studios japan website for a theme park inspired by one of the most pro- protective and litigious ip holders in the video game industry i'm not gonna read it anymore um it's on like the loading screen. It's like uh, it, and I think it goes to the bottom. It's on. It's it's straight up on the page. It it's yeah. It's this picture right here of 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 Mario. It looks legit because I mean it's a really good render. Mm-hmm. Um, the the problem is you know like a third party is making this website, and mm-hmm. oh here it is. This is the website right here. There it is. There's the stolen art. There it is. So you know a third party is making the website, you know, mm-hmm. um, and they were probably giving an ass. They were probably given an asset pack of like a bunch of you know renders and pictures to use, but it probably wasn't enough stuff. And they just figured I can use any Nintendo pictures, and there's mm-hmm. plenty on if you Google Mario, there's plenty of PNGs of Mario that are like super high resolution. And they're probably honestly better than the asset pack that they got. So he probably did that and didn't even realize that that was this that was not an official Nintendo thing. I uh, I never thought I'd be able to turn this uh, or relate this to FNAF on this podcast, <laughs> but I can. Uh, Here we go. This was actually this was actually a huge problem when they announced uh, FNAF VR was the marketing studio that did the teaser images took a render from a fan instead of from scott and uh threw it in there and uh the fan was like what what the hell that was mine but and then it raises a big question was like well yeah but it's a render of someone else's work yeah it's not like an original creation you're just rendering it and it's a whole a whole rabbit hole of a like who really 
owns the right to Mario, this particular Mario, right? Yeah, I don't know the legality behind it. Yeah. I know it's scummy. It's scummy to mm-hmm. just take something like that and use it as an oh, official absolutely. thing. Yeah. But I don't know. I I don't know legally what happens there. Uh, le- I mean, legally, Nintendo will win. I think oh, in in I mean, the in because it's it wasn't their IP to use. I do, th- and knowing Nintendo and how they, uh, when it comes to actually treating fan games and fan art and all that stuff, they they don't want it. <laughs> they, yeah. They've made it clear <laughs> they don't want it. Uh so if if this guy ever tried to I, I doubt he'll ever try to do anything, but if he did try to do something, he would be screwed. Like he, he's not gonna he would not win that. And yeah, nor are they gonna care. Nintendo has very good lawyers. It's not it's yeah. it's not gonna work out for him. But I mean, I'm just saying, like mm-hmm. uh there's just I don't think there's any I don't know what legal ground there is. I mean, you did the work for them, but it is their IP, so yeah i don't know look fan art in fan creations it, it's a very very weird line on like ownership oh you did and a whole only... game theory episode on it yeah there's an entire game theory on it uh, that's a good watch uh because wh- that, that's a problem that we dealt with, with, with for a long time is that um when we're co- what especially with fnaf when we collect fnaf assets We'd see a high res Bonnie and go like, "Oh, great! I need that," and it looks like Scott's, and it's it's not. It's just someone that did a very good replication of that character, and you have to be. I mean, for us, if we think it's the right move, uh, especially on YouTube, to credit the person who built the red render if we use it. But it's it's kind of it's. It, there's two different approaches. There's the Nintendo approach, which is like, no, this is RIP. We protect it. Do not use our stuff for fan things, which I think is a very old way of thinking about it. And then there's what Scott did, uh, where he said, fan games are what fuels the main FNAF series. So I want to celebrate that. I'm going to go help five indie developers make their fan games into official parts of the FNAF uh, greater universe. Oh, that's that's a very Sega thing to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I Sega started the whole thing with Sonic Mania, mm-hmm. like leg- bringing them in and like, hey, you guys are great, make us a game. <laughs> yeah, Sega kind of just like closes their eyes at uh, at fan games. They're just like, ah, we don't, we don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, you guys go. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nintendo is they they're they're shutting it everything down left and right. Yeah. It's 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 a weird thing to do because why not just snatch the talent instead of just shutting him down? So Nintendo did. We learned last week that uh, they were trying to. Uh, th- th- there was like a lot of leaked documents from Nintendo sometime last mm-hmm. week or the week before that, and uh, there was a, th- a DS hacker, I think, somebody that like hacked the DS or something, um, mm-hmm. and there were internal conversations about. Uh, kind of forcing him into hiring him (laughs) like they were trying to like (laughs) they brought him in to like talk to him about what he did and they were trying to hire him to i don't know i guess work some sort of like security like figure out how to make the ds more secure or something like that uh i don't Mm. remember the, the specifics but they were trying to hire at least one uh big hacker in the community Huh. Uh, but in terms of games, no, they want they want them all to die. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a missed opportunity easily. Um, Absolutely. But as far as relating to this particular case, this is just an unfortunate thing where we'll, we're going to get mad at Nintendo when it's really a third party who did the thing and... <laughs> we do that for like a couple weeks and then we're going to move on. <laughs> it's unfortunately just kind of the reality that it is. Film fanatics in the chat says Dan out here saying Scott is better than Nintendo. I agree, but it pains me. Take that. Yep. Uh, we you also know, I'm, uh, FNAF angers me. So, but I have a lot of respect for Scott and what he does. <laughs> 
Joseph, oh, look at Daddy with four months. Thank you so much. He says, wahoo. You know, but more like Mario, not like me. And that cyber, (laughs) the cyber quake. Fake Dan. With 17 months. Hi, Dan. Hi, Bob. Hello. Uh, next news. This was brought to my attention during the open chat Smash Brothers uh, kerfuffle. I think Sour <laughs> Skrillex was the one who brought it to my attention. Uh, 8 Bit Do just announced they have uh, an update for the USB wireless adapter. Do you know this little thing? I've looked into getting this little thing every single, like, I hop on Amazon. It's like in my wish list. I'm like, yeah, I should get that one day. <laughs> and I move on. <laughs> well, now you have more of a reason to get it. Because now yeah, it's yeah. compatible with the Ultimate software. Do you have uh, one of these guys? The the SN30 Pro Plus? Uh, no, I was planning on uh, doing an upgrade here soon because I still got uh, I still got this guy. And, oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's good enough. The D-pad's a little a little funky at times. Yes, I my old one. Uh, this is my new one. I I got it like a yeah. few weeks ago. My old one just friggin' just crapped out. It just like yeah. I don't know. It just it, it just crapped out. I don't know how else to explain it. Like it just, <laughs> it just went no. Yeah, it's uh, like it, it. It was just wonky. Like some of the buttons were weird, and uh, it connected weird. It was just being weird. So I got a new one, and this one's amazing. Um. But this controller, the SN30 Pro Plus, has what is called the Ultimate Software. And you can mm. further customize the controller. You can change the button layout around. You could uh, add macros. You can have a turbo feature. Oh, nice. It's really cool. Um, now, Apidu updated the uh, firmware on the adapter. And it is now also compatible with that Ultimate Software. So nice. you can now have the ultimate software used on the PlayStation 5, PS4, Xbox One, Switch Pro controllers. Not on those systems, I should clarify. You can use those yeah. controllers now yeah. on the Switch and on Windows, and they're compatible with the ultimate software. So you can have macros with the PlayStation 5 controller. You can have uh, Turbo with the PlayStation 5 controller, stuff like that. You could change the button layout and whatnot. Which I'm interested how that's going to work with like the touchpad and stuff. Oh, yeah. That'd be interesting. See, this is how I end up dropping like $80 after this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> this thing's pretty cheap. It's 20 bucks for, for this little adapter. Yeah. yeah, but I'm going to need a new SN30 Pro. That's just that's just the thing. I oh, probably absolutely. don't need to. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, this adapter... Uh, it's only good if you want to use an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller on your Switch. You yeah. know, like uh, I wouldn't recommend it for anything. I, and I, honestly, yeah. I had a hard time trying to connect my PlayStation Five controller to it. I made a video really? trying to do it, and I was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. it doesn't work." And then somebody made a video immediately after and was like, "I got it to work," <laughs> and I just made it <laughs> myself. Um. Oh, you can also change the stick sensitivity using the ultimate software. You can change the uh, trigger sensitivity. Ooh, that's nice. The vibration, stuff like that. The macro functionality isn't that great. Like it, mm-hmm. you have to type in the macro on the software and it f- plays through the whole macro really fast. So it's really only uh, good for fighting games. Sure, to like use a specific combo or whatever. Yeah, not Smash Brothers. It's not good for Smash Brothers. Ooh. Um, that's fair i've seen I, plenty of you trying to do macros for <laughs> smash and not a single one being effective i try to make it work so hard i <laughs> i prefer the controllers that allow you to record the macro yeah absolutely. having yeah, to having to type it all in is is a waste but turbo is good to having a turbo functionality is good so it doesn't say it here mm-hmm. but you can map one of the buttons which i usually do the share button you can map it to the yeah. turbo button so you hold the turbo button plus the button you want to be turboed and then it turns it into a turbo which is great for animal crossing yeah you can just yeah, absolutely spam pick up items and you know all that stuff so here you go if you have one of these adapters and you've been using a ps uh, five four or xbox controller 
Now you can get to use the ultimate software and further customize it. What a great day for you. What a magical time to be alive. Magical day. So magical. So great. Uh, you. I know you've seen this. Mm-hmm. Twitch has new PogChamp emote every single day. I love it. Uh, Twitch will randomly choose a new PogChamp emote every 24 hours. This is uh, IGN. As Twitch tries to find a replacement for the incredibly popular PogChamp emote, which was removed earlier this week, the streaming platform announced a novel temporary solution every 24 hours twitch will randomly choose a new streamer emote to serve as a temporary pog champ emote pog champ is one of the more popular emotes on twitch and the original emote was based on fighting game player ryan gutex gutierrez twitch removed earlier this week following a tweet by gutierrez that twitch says called for further violence following the attack on on capitol hill Twitch also disabled the Trump's Twitch channel following the insurgency. <laughs> Completely irrelevant, but we might as well throw that in here. <laughs> uh, Sean Plot, the esports commentator known as Day9, suggested that Twitch should create a database of streamers, and whenever someone types PogChamp, Twitch should display one of those faces at random, which I like that idea a little more. Mm-hmm. But Twitch then quote tweeted that and says, you know what? In the f spirit of figuring out 2021 together, let's just roll with it for now. Get ready for a new Pog Champ emote every 24 hours starting today. Um, all right. We don't have to read more. I think no. this is great. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. I, I, like, I like the idea of writing Pog Champ and then a random one shows up. But I also like, I mean, as far as highlighting people in the community, like, giving someone 24 hours of pog champ so you know exactly who it is rather than just like i don't know who this particular streamer is yeah you're right it, it, it yeah. it's better at highlighting that particular person yeah so there's because been if you're just writing not continue i'm sorry there's a delay no, so just... i'm like talking over yeah me. i was just gonna say it it just if you just had random people show up when you write pog champ like it kind of makes it unpersonal or like less unique in a way it, it, it's really strange to say it that way but it just wouldn't f it just wouldn't feel like it had the actual pog champ feel to it you know people might spam it more to like see uh like who comes up yeah but also i feel like this that's easy to exploit because like i would imagine they would if they did it that way the randomized version they were just limited to partners but Mm -hmm. partners are allowed to upload whatever emotes they want so i feel like yeah. uh it could be easily exploited to be something that's not pog champ yeah um now we have in the wake of all of this news there is a pog champ emote for us it's called a uh, wolf pog uh so everybody type that in the chat wolf pog this is wolf pog here it is i tried to mimic uh i tried to mimic pog champ as much as possible i think i nailed it it's very nice it's very well done thank you so much dan i appreciate it uh, uh i might <laughs> i might need to make my own pog champ emote before this next before my stream in like a bit <laughs> i mean i think everybody should have one now yeah i was gonna have Alyssa make me one but i think it might just be better to take a picture and get it done <laughs> you want it to to you know be the pog champ you know, you want to yeah. mimic it as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first one was on January 9th. This is uh, Umi no Kaiju. Uh, that was the first one. Second one was Reversal. Mm -hmm. There he is. Third one was this guy, Critical Bard. And now today is dear, dear, dear. <laughs> I like this one. Oh boy, this one's good. I I, I like that one a lot. Uh, I like this. I like I like uh rant, like getting a new one every day because you're right. It does hi it highlights the person. It's more like impactful, you know. But how are they going to keep it up? 
they gotta have they that they, they have to make one of these tweets every single day and be like make a big deal about, yeah. about it i i mean there's gonna be a point in time where they're gonna have to make a decision on what's gonna replace it um and i think so it's either gonna be in the next couple weeks they're going to put in a an actual one but also at the same time i look at that template and it's as, it's as easy as dropping a new png into a competing export like they could have the next week of these videos done in a day true so um yeah the, the, the video shouldn't be a, a big deal yeah i i do think it, it is it just comes down to the question of um are they how long are they planning on keeping this up when are they going to make the decision on who's going to take over that particular uh emote slot also i i, I think I, twitch is notoriously uh a boys club <laughs> like um there's like a yeah there there's a lot of favoritism in twitch so oh totally so far it looks like they're doing a really good job of of not playing favorites it looks like they're really reaching out to uh to their uh maybe uh do should i say lower tier partners like like you know i i i mean there's no better way to say it <laughs> yeah yeah um i think one of wasn't one of them an affiliate am i am i wrong or did i hear that that wrong i felt like one was but i could be wrong that would be really cool i uh, that would that would be awesome they really yeah, don't give I mean, affiliates enough enough credit they don't give anybody don't any credit. Don't I know it? <laughs> they have they freaking oh, oh, every time there's like these compilations they have every once in a while, like these little compilations they tweet. It's always the same people. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and, and I this, mean, this Twitch video, this video for the for the emote, uh, doesn't have their name at all. So it is really just putting the PNG in, and that's it. Like changing yeah. that one asset. Yeah. There. I mean, it's it's strange, but twitch does with like lower tier lower tier partners or affiliates like uh, a friend of mine starby she when they released subs for affiliates like what three years ago or whatever that was uh she was like in all of their sizzle reels like getting the first sub because her reaction was so big and all that stuff and then when <laughs> she finally was able to uh apply for partner they just rejected her. <laughs> they said no. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Everybody gets rejected it, for the for the dumbest yes. reasons. I know somebody who got rejected because they were like, you're view botting. <laughs> <laughs> and she clearly was not a view botting. I don't know. It's it's great. It's okay. absolutely ridiculous. I, only I can't got, wait to go through that process. <laughs> I only got partnered through a technicality. I should I probably would still not be partnered if, if it wasn't for that I, they, they had this program that was uh uh where they wanted you to put your your youtube video as a premiere on twitch that was before the youtube premieres thing happened twitch had their own version yeah. of premieres uh so they they kind of uh poached us for that uh and that was like when you and i first met yeah that was when that yeah. started i wanted that was the beginning of 2018 it was December of 2017. Yeah. Early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was playing Odyssey. So, yeah. Um, it only lasted three months. And I only had like 20 viewers on Twitch when it, that happened. Yeah, their <laughs> premiere thing did not did not work out well. It wasn't It, it wasn't, was... It wasn't. good. On my Twitch right now, there's still, the, those videos still exist. And it's weird. It's weird to see like my feed and there's like old wolf den videos like as part of like the front page i it's i started putting my reviews on it thinking that that was going to be the way to kind of start bringing in things but no and even premieres on youtube are a mess the yeah. algorithm doesn't know what it is i know i mean yeah, you know better than I do now, but uh, yeah. I always was skeptical of premieres because I know that live streams are like a finicky thing on YouTube. Um, people get that notification, and if they don't click on it, that's points against your channel. So yep. here you are sending out a notification for a live stream for your video. 
So that makes the video less of a priority and it makes the live stream more of a priority that people don't want to click on. They just want to click on your video. Yep. I mean, uh, so this is how I understand it works now is that, and this it baffles me, MDB's channel is a goddamn we always enigma. Have to, <laughs> we always have to bring up MDB because he yeah. is the exception to every rule of YouTube. I, I don't I, he's I, I don't know how he does it but <laughs> the basic gist is you're supposed like it's treated like a live stream for that moment that it is the premiere and then immediately afterwards it's treated like a video so it if if you have a ton of people there for the premiere it goes great you checked off the successful live stream box but then afterwards, if that that concurrent viewership was lower than what you normally get um, in that first hour, then it goes, ah, but as a video, it did terribly. Sorry. And it just because <laughs> <laughs> I, I premiered one of the FNAF fan games, which, of course, always does well on my channel. And it skyrocketed the video, it just launched it. And so I was like, great, I'll try it again with Sonic fan games. And it tanked the video. <laughs> It just killed it. It's It seems like it's one of those situations where if the video would do good on its own, it'll do great as a premiere. And if it does bad on its own, it will do even worse as a premiere. Yeah. Yeah. Or not the, necessarily the moral bad, of the story, but, you know, like worse than the other videos. Yeah. The moral of the story is unless you're MDB, don't do it. MDB, I mean, upload... He... <laughs> He, he freaking uploads his videos on a Saturday at like 2 p.m., which is like the worst time. He does daily Let's Plays of games that are freaking ridiculously obscure that get, you know, a fraction of the views that his now main show gets, which is every Saturday, the freaking challenges that he mm -hmm. does uh, that get millions of views. It's crazy. His and, channel is an enigma. And yet, and yet he's just like he's a hundred percent content of doing everything that he's currently doing and he doesn't he does not plan on changing that he's he's my example for um like there's a lot of rules to youtube and there's like a lot of things you could do to like tweak the algorithm but that is maybe like five percent of the of the of the pie the other yeah. 95 percent is the content that you're making so there's yeah. little ways to like give yourself a little boost but um, it's not nearly anywhere as important. And I think he's a good example of that because he does not care about that extra 5% boost. No, he, he is all in there to make the content he wants to make and it shows in his videos. And I think that's that's why he's somehow able to like boost his channel super high on the weekend and then kill it during the week to just boost it again and just keep this process going. I mean... My our channel was uh was an example of that too because we had yeah just all different types of wacky content uh and we you know powered through it somehow uh now we're just one type of content now it's just a one show on on the youtube channel and uh that has had a weird effect like uh i thought we would grow a lot more in subscribers because people know what to get what to expect yeah but that didn't happen the views actually we have less views as we as we have less views than we did last year at the same time a, a, a huh. slight slightly less views yeah but the monetization is way more like the cpm is way higher than it was you know when which we had is multiple shows which is really weird considering that i know when the pandemic hit uh all of us felt that initial drop in cpm yeah. immediately like yeah it, it just it hit hard and it hit fast but it seems like it leveled up but that go that goes up, to show you out. how yeah. bad my cpm was when we had was... all this other stuff going on i it, it's got to be that i mean there's so much under the hood on what youtube does with your channel and with your videos there's so many tags that aren't shown to you that need to be shown to you um that affects how how your your business works not not one person at youtube knows the algorithm 
It's no. all different I, chunks that people know. I've heard it's an absolute mess. Like the actual coding is so bad because they have not spent the time to actually like rework the entire thing to be like a nice coherent chunk of code. It's just a, a, a it looks like a blackboard with the scribblings of a madman. Yep. And that is what we depend on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that hurt. That 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 <laughs> that that's it's hurt a little harder than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's move let's move on here uh yeah. we got uh crystalito with six months half a year going strong i might propose soon thanks crystalito uh it's a no but i appreciate the six months i i have yeah. commitment issues dante mirror thanks for the 17 months happy 17 months robert thank you dante i appreciate you i also appreciate oh, crystalito i could do this right now boom praise me <laughs> I just subscribed. It, it did not come up. But thanks go through. that cyber channel for the subscription. I appreciate you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Boom. Uh. Oh, there it is, Bob. Oh, can we make the alert? Let's let's have it go. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. Bob. <laughs> All right, let's, oh, bl beautiful. let's plow through this real quick. Netflix service yeah. uh, on Wii U and 3DS. Bye-bye. No more Netflix on Wii U or 3DS. Uh, if you're watching your Netflix shows on your 3DS, maybe it's a good thing that Nintendo's taking that away from you. Yeah, you might need to reevaluate what you're doing. I think the Wii U was 1080p, though. The Netflix on there. Yeah, it, that would make sense. Starting December 31st, 2020, the Netflix app will no longer be available for new users to download from the Nintendo eShop. Why is this news today? What? Slow news day. That's weird. Uh, mm -hmm. During that time, it will be possible for existing users to re-download these applications. Service for existing users will continue until June 30th, 2021. Thank uh, you to everyone who enjoyed Netflix on these platforms over the years. So it's been unavailable, I guess. It's understandable that Nintendo would want to close up shop for these apps on older consoles, but it very much shines a light shines a light the fact that the nintendo switch despite its popularity has yet to receive its own netflix app back in 2017 then coo of nintendo america reggie fils said that nintendo switch apps for netflix hulu and amazon quote will come in time switch doesn't have a huge selection of streaming services but it does have some hulu is already available uh anime streaming service funimation came to the switch recently which i haven't tried yet um mm -hmm. It's no Netflix. Everyone's hoping Netflix is coming. I, I don't know whose fault this is. Um, I don't I'd know. imagine it's, I mean, it's both Netflix and Nintendo's fault, but uh, I know that Nintendo is probably hard to work with. I can, you can only imagine so, right? And, and it's not like Netflix needs Nintendo, you know? It's like not important mm -hmm. for them to have a Netflix app. No, absolutely not. Like it, it does not help them in the slightest. And on top of that, like Netflix is on every other platform. So if you were, if you don't have Netflix on your Switch, it's like okay, cool. I put on my PS5, or I have a Chromecast, which is like thirty bucks. Or your phone. I'd imagine most people yeah. watch Netflix on their phone, which is not the optimal yeah. experience, but it's just what everybody has. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, no. Netflix is like the one thing everybody always it, it's it's themes. Everybody wants themes on their Switch and Netflix. Yeah. So uh, I don't think this has. I don't think this is a sign of Netflix to come on the Switch. I just think that they're sick of updating it on the Wii U and nobody's using it. So yeah, that's that. The last bit of news we have today. Uh, I just saw this on Nintendo Life while we were looking up uh, the Mario 35 pins. Uh, say hello to the most desirable and expensive Game Gear Micro. I didn't know there was another one. I have all four. What, there was another one? There's a, now a fifth one. Is it white or is it like an off white? What is this? I don't know. That picture is terrible. And why is it the most desirable? Let's find out. To celebrate its 60th birthday... 
wow, what an old man. Sega got up to all <laughs> kinds of stuff, uh, and that included the release of the hardware alongside what? That includes the release of new hardware. Of new hardware. I'm, I'm having a stroke, Dan. That's fine. Uh, Alongside the Astro City mini console. What? I got to click on this. I'm so out of this. Oh, it's a little arcade cabinet. Oh, it's like the ones they have in Japan. That's cool. Look at that. You can get controllers for that too. Little tiny fight pads. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, The company also miniaturized its Game Boy rival, the Game Gear, releasing it in four color variants, which each came preloaded with different games. Uh, I like the blue one the best. Uh, mm-hmm. When we went hands-on with a Game Gear Micro, this is Nintendo Life, we came away with some, we came away somewhat puzzled. Not only is the device seemingly exclusive to Japan, which it is, there's been no indication of a Western release. Uh, it's so tiny, it's hardly practical for for prolonged play and the decision to include different games on each model means you have to shell out hundreds of dollars to play the full library which is true i paid over 200 dollars for all four of them which was a terrible idea however in addition to the four initial colors black yellow blue and red sega has also released a fifth variant which comes in white and ships with the same games found on the recently released estelle a last, a last, a, a last collection for Nintendo Switch. We recently reviewed this collection, go giving it a glowing eight out of ten score. I've never heard of this game before in my life. Oh my god, it comes never. with the, it comes with the big window. <laughs> so the big window is an accessory that only comes if you buy all four of the game gears together from the same place. It's like a pre-order bonus kind of deal. You know, I almost, I almost bought one of those Game Gear, those little Game Gears, and then I watched your video. I was like, nah. <laughs> I I only bought it to make the video. Yeah. So I don't have I any will, regrets. I will have my 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 parents ship my old Game Gears up, and then I will have a Game Gear. <laughs> While the seemingly random selection of games seem to seen on other Game Gear micros made it hard to find a variant which tip which ticked all of your personal boxes, the games included here, Estelle slash Power Strike, Power Strike 2, GG, Estelle, GG, Estelle 2, and GG, Estelle 3. Wow, there's five? Wow. All are all excellent, although it goes without saying that they're all shmups. Okay, so fuck that. <laughs> so if you're not a fan of the genre, it's going to be partic- not going to be particularly appealing to you. It's also worth stating that the same issues we had... Okay, well, yeah, it's tiny. The big window does make it easier. But so they don't seem to be making a big deal that it comes with a big window. I think that's like the biggest deal of this whole thing. (laughs) No, whoever wrote this um, made some choices, I guess, for lack of a better term. Whoever wrote this really loves Estelle. Specifically. Which is a game I've never heard of. In my life. I, I just looked up some gameplay and I'm like, ah, cool. Metascension is trying to uh, freaking uh, really push me over the edge in the chat here. Uh, you're just going to have a four out of fifth complete collection forever? Yes. <laughs> I don't, I, I can't make a video out of this. I bought the other one so I can make a video out of it. I cannot make a video out of this. I would not have bought that. I would have bought just this one if i could have but it was easier to import the whole thing right uh the blue one is is the best one because it has sonic chaos on it um and that's it that's the only reason it's the best one uh this is still not the most desirable no matter what they say it, it, I, I, I don't I, care about a stellar power strike or any of this crap yeah it just sounds like someone was a big fan and that's it a lest i keep calling it the wrong thing that's how little yeah. i care about this game I'm sure it's good. I mean, whatever. Buy it on the Switch. Yeah. The call collections on the Switch. Dan, that's all the news that we have today. Wow, that was a lot of. That was a ride of news. We got through it all in a decent we amount of time. It. You know, we haven't gotten through though. Quit of the week! Quit of the week! Quit of the week! 
This is the tweet of the week, Dan. It's beautiful. Did I not? Oh, no, I have it. I have it. It's, I was it's like, a, did you wrong, not? It's in the wrong spot. Uh, this was, I found this today. It's, it's uh, on brand with what we talked about today. It's just a little art of Bowser's Fury Mario is a furry from Ket Art Dragon. And it's freaking Mario with all the <laughs> Chaos Emeralds. It just looks like Sonic with the Chaos Emeralds, but with a big fat ass mustache. I don't know why they didn't just also throw a couple Dragon Balls in there too. Why not just <laughs> all make it into the one thing we know it is? When I first saw the picture of Mario with the Saiyan hair, Mm. everyone was comparing it to uh, Dragon Ball and not Sonic which I know Sonic is like a rip off of Dragon Ball with the with the with the yeah. Super Saiyan nonsense but still it's freaking always been Mario and Sonic and now here he is doing a Sonic thing yeah it's it's, it's funny too because I remember uh, like as it was panning up to reveal the hair, I saw that he was glowing yellow. I'm like, please don't put that. Okay, there's a Super Saiyan hair. Got it. <laughs> He's also got a big bushy tail like a freaking uh, monkey mm -hmm. Saiyan. Good lord. Oh. Uh, I have a thing to unbox. Yeah. Oh, you got one thing to unbox? I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to do it. Okay, could, I'll yeah. do it. I'll do it. Ah, what the heck? You got me. Every time, so this is this is a this is a special thing right here. Um, I don't know what to do here. Uh, every time I get one of these uh, emulators, mm -hmm. it looks like a brick of cocaine. <laughs> they taped the hell out of it. Uh, I already opened this one. Uh, so this is the Pocket Go SN30. Ooh. This is if you we talked about this on the show when it was announced. This is uh the people who made the Pocket Go and the Bit Boys and whatever. They teamed up with the designer of the 8 bit do controllers of the SN30 line. And now they have in oh, god damn, dude. Come wow, on. it is it's a thick boy. Well, that's thick. This is it. This is the. Will it turn on? Here it is. That looks real nice. The screen's nice. It's got a little layer of something on it. I'm afraid to peel it off. Does it have game? Oh, it has games on it. Here we go. Here's what Turtles in Time looks like. <gasps> oh, Turtles in Time. Ooh. You put the mic right there. The screen's really pretty. It's nice and big. It, I mean, yeah. all of these emulators have the same kind of screen, though. So it's always impressive, but it shouldn't be impressive anymore because they're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this... Uh, I mean, the most exciting thing about this is the form factor because this is my favorite controller, mm -hmm. but now it's an emulator. It's, yeah, it's, I a, mean... it, it's a little big, but no, actually, it's the same size as the Retroid. It's actually smaller. Yeah, the screen is the same. It's the same screen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, just, I'm always a fan, uh, and maybe it's just for nostalgic purposes, but holding a Super Nintendo form factor controller in your hand just feels good. I think it's, I think they kind of nailed the controller design back then. Mm -hmm. uh, we needed more buttons in the 3D era. So it's understandable why they kind of moved away from that. But uh, no, that, that I think the Super Nintendo controller, especially for 2D games, is like pretty perfect. It's the way to go. Uh, another reason why I like this is because the D-pad... I mean, the reason why I like the 8-bit 2 controllers is because the D-pad is in the freaking top. It's right where your thumb sits. Yeah, where it needs to go. Yeah, and a lot of these retro uh, emulator consoles put the D-pad on the bottom. And, but most of the games that you play on here are are eight, uh sixteen bit games, so why put the D pad where it belongs? Like I I will, 
if, if, if I have to use the joystick, I will. I will hate doing it, <laughs> but I'll like I'll, I'll I'll power through it. And I think that's why if I have to emulate and because I, I cannot find my 8 bit do controller link so I can plug it into my computer for Mega Man tonight. <laughs> but I've been just using a PS the PS4 controller because they put the D-pad in 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 the spot that I need it to be in. That's not a bad D-pad. It's split weird, yeah. but uh it kind of works mm -hmm. for you know, super precise games. Yeah. You can't really mess that. You can't really mess up inputs on something like that. Yeah, no, it's it's not like it's going to be a Xbox D-pad where it's you you go a little bit the other way and it clicks the next button for whatever I reason. I like the Xbox D-pad. Because it's clicky like, like that. I like that. I mean, I like the click. I just don't like the... I'm just not a huge fan of the D-pad of the <laughs> Xbox X control. Like, I, I don't know. I just I never like... really liked it that much. I mean, the Pro Control is all right. It's a little mm -hmm. mushy, but I get weird diagonal inputs all the time because uh, mm -hmm. I think it's just the position that it's in. It just... it Your hand's canted, so like... It feels yeah. like you should be going diagonal when you're not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, now is when we talk to the people in the chat. Or if you're not with us live, that's okay. You can leave a comment in the description of the YouTube video, and we will answer it on the next week's Wolf Den Live. In the description? Of the YouTube video? Because this goes up on YouTube, you know. Uh, YouTube.com yeah, slash Wolf Den Podcast. Yeah, know that you can put a comment in a description. Oh, you know. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's that's where they go. That's where the comments go. Um, so, Dan, if you go to the text channel WDL Info, there's, I'm going to read these comments anyway, but these are comments from yeah, last yeah. week's Wolf Den Live, uh, where okay. Will probably said some shit about Kanye West. Um, Parker from last week said, with Nintendo acquiring next level games, I agree with Bob that we should get a new Mario Golf or Strikers for the Switch. One game I would have loved to see happen was the canceled Mario Spikers game for the Wii, which was supposed to be volleyball. Keep up the great work, guys. What? It's Mario Spikers. Oh, wait. I remember. I remember the concept art for this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember this? Remember oh. This guy? Look at this guy. That's weird. I don't like that. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't like... I, I don't like that I can see his pec muscles. There's something just absolutely wrong with that particular thing. That's freaking me out. I remember that there was... There was a lot of weird concept art with this one. Mario wrestling uniform concept. Oh, that's what that is. It's the wrestling. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that's it? That's all the concept art. Okay. Weird. We also got Jamie Thomas. The Jamie Thomas? Yo, do a kickflip. Hearing Will say, <laughs> for fuck's sake, was like hearing my teacher swear. <laughs> <laughs> says another year another non-existent speed racer video what did you promise like a speed racer video at some oh i think that? will i think they wanted will to make a speed racer video oh okay that, will's that a sense. big fan of robert rodriguez and didn't he do a speed racer i think he did that movie didn't do well when it came out and it didn't get good reviews but everybody loves that movie Like it became a thing I, afterwards. I, yeah, I heard it was very. The Wachowskis directed. The it. Wachowskis made that movie. Yeah. Holy crap! I did not know that. That's crazy. Like I knew it was. Uh, I've heard that it's very visually beautiful. Yeah, it's got like but... a lot of like effects going on. Uh, Christopher Hart says there are expanded universe books that are better than the movies talking about Star Wars I didn't even like Luke until the expanded universe uh, the expanded universe makes Luke so much better and yeah that's what, I, that's what we were yeah. trying to say last week is that the expanded universe uh, has a lot of good stuff that they're not pulling from or that the movies didn't pull from yeah. at all but the, 
like the Mandalorians yeah. hopefully gonna fix a little bit of that uh amanda lewandowski says it could be called a switch home and be docked only console i guess what are your thoughts talking about a switch pro this has been a theory that a lot of people are talking about because the switch light is the portable only so the only the natural yeah. evolution is to have a docked only switch i mean i don't think as as nintendo i don't think you can afford to do that like if you're going to have a dock only switch then you have to compete against microsoft and sony as far as power is concerned because the thing about that makes the switch unique is the portability and the fact that you can swap it no matter what you do so so the, if you're the, just the theory that people have is that they'll yeah make it a 4k console and games will be probably native 1080p whereas right now they're like a lot of them are 720 i see what you're saying um Um, i don't think that's gonna happen i don't think it's a good move i don't think they care they don't care they don't care yeah the only thing that i think might make them care is that right now the switch is classified as a last gen console it's it's not in the same generation as uh as the xbox uh series and the playstation 5 it is in the switch is in the wii u generation categorically which is dumb that should not it's really dumb that should not be the case it should be in the next generation but whatever um so that if nintendo cares at all about that then they would make a they they would make a a A better version that puts them in the next generation but i don't think they care and i think that their sales no. numbers show that it doesn't matter they're, they're still gonna do nope. great I, I think it's a very nintendo move to just iterate on it and make it a little better and make it like sleeker and like cooler and like mm-hmm. that's it so if you were thinking about maybe getting a switch now you're definitely gonna get a switch when they make the cooler version mm. and then fred also put in here hot girl video xxx so nice heart emoji heart emoji heart emoji heart emoji heart emoji heart emoji everybody check out hot girls video xxx on youtube don't but don't do it make sure your parents aren't around now we're in the chat for a brief moment who's got some you better make it good did you see that Bethesda and Machine Games, devs of Wolfenstein, are recently involved in the Wolfenstein Storm, uh, are developing Indiana Jones? Yes, we actually did talk about it. Um, yeah. Also, friggin' Lucas Film Games is a thing. <laughs> yeah. There you which, go. Which is new to us. Cyberquake says, Dan, how are your legs? I'm assuming that's a ring fit question. Yeah, I didn't expect ring fit to kick my ass this much. Like... I thought it was going to be okay. You do some running and all that stuff. No, they <laughs> they, they don't mess around. <laughs> Is, are you new to Ring Fit? Yeah, I've never done it before. Oh, Our, God. My uh, editor Jerica and I uh, decided that we're get, we're going to get we're going to get ripped this year. We're going to get gonna ripped. Get to editor bods is, is is the goal. You're going to turn into a himbo. That's my it's yeah. My goal. I'm going to be a himbo. I've been eating a lot of mixed nuts. You always see like dudes who are ripped. They're always eating. Oh yeah, it's constant calorie intake. So now I'm just I this it's gotta be me, dude. I always gotta eat. So I always I'm just I'm just gonna be pounding nuts. Uh, a friend of mine's boyfriend is like he 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 is just like the most pure human, but he looks like he could break you in half by sneezing. <laughs> he is just huge, <laughs> and like all he eats is like steaks all the time just <laughs> steaks meat it's always meat <laughs> i'm like i can get on board with that that's an apex predator right there absolutely yeah i don't want to do that i don't want to eat nothing but steak um i also don't want to be that huge <laughs> i yeah, just want to be I, not I, a, I, a waste of life the, the best i'm going to be able to do is like i can go for what markiplier's got like that, I don't need to have abs. I just he's, need to be. He's pretty swole. He's swole, but he's not like super toned in the fact that mm-hmm. you can see every muscle like ripple. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
A lot of muscle talk on this. <laughs> GCX Kluke says those dudes work out so much they need the calories. Yeah, they always look like they have to shit. Like wrestlers, like certain wrestlers that are like huge, uh, you you know mm -hmm. that they just ate like a lot before they wrestled. You're like, that dude's going to, at any moment, he's going to shit. That, that man's going to run off the stage into the nearest bathroom and shit everywhere. Yeah. How many yeah. dumps do you think one of those like super ripped dudes takes a day? I take one. I take one solid mm -hmm. one a day. Yeah. They probably take like take two. four or five well, even one after every meal it's like fill up dump out but that's the thing is they're always eating so it's one constant meal the whole day yeah but they eat little they eat smaller bit i know that some people that are doing weight loss or trying to put on a lot of weight they don't eat three meals they eat a bunch of small meals throughout the day mm -hmm. so they're still eating about a, like three meals worth of food they're just doing it more often. Mm -hmm. There's no time. There's just constantly turning it into muscle. Yeah, just constantly. Jay Buggy in the chat with uh, 38 months says, woot, woot, woot. Man, 38 months. I have literally nothing else uh, to do with my money. Apparently not. Uh, LOL, all love to the Wolf Den. Thank you, Jay Buggy. Uh, uh, I'm just as shocked as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Bova in the chat says, according to Nintendo Life, Nintendo's direct archive appears to have been updated. Oh, and it's got some fans excited. What do you think? What is, uh, could you link an article or something? What? Nintendo it's Life. Nintendo, like their direct archive? Interesting. Uh, I feel like certain things like today's uh, announcement of uh, Mario and, and the, the Bowser thing. Uh, Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Mm -hmm. Th that announcement was probably supposed to be in a direct of some sort, along with an announcement of the of the console. Yeah, uh, and some apparently other stuff this, that was probably delayed. Yeah, apparently this stuff this was discovered uh, two days ago, mm -hmm. and it was for the exact thing that we got today. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think that they had plans and they had to swap some things around because they're behind. And that's just that's just part of it. Same thing with these leaks that say like Metroid Prime 4 is coming any day now. Or we, uh, somebody put a listing up. It's like that was probably an old listing that they told that they never told GameStop, hey, take that down. Yeah. It doesn't make me less sad. <laughs> <laughs> just really want Metroid Prime 4. Nello FN says, check out the Aya uh, Neo handheld PC for gaming. Looks cool. Oh, God. It's going to be like a million dollars. It's a Ryzen? What? What the? This this looks like a like a hacked <laughs> ass switch. How much money? What? How many dollars? How many? How much one dollar? Doesn't say. It's a Chinese thing. <laughs> it's from back in like October. The, the the Alienware version of something that's similar to this is uh like almost a thousand dollars. It's like a lot. Oh my god! So I would imagine yeah, you're this just, is you're just expensive. buying a PC to put in your hand. Yeah. Yep. Which honestly would probably be more worth it if you want to do the streaming stuff that I've been doing with Android on the Switch. Right. Might as well just spend a grand. Might as well. Uh, I'm going to read like one or two more here. F Flame Boy has been writing this a lot. Are you going to play Scott Pilgrim? No. But Will is. He liked the game. And uh, he is going to replay it. I almost never replay games. I am going to be playing the crap out of it. Oh, you like it? I like. I I love Scott Pilgrim. We're that's our Sunday stream right now. Oh, We're, yeah, because they have mul they have online multiplayer, which is great. I didn't think they were gonna. Good, thank God. <laughs> I know. I'm sick of these like side scrolling. Like I think 
uh, Streets of Rage 4 should have had multiplayer online. That's so dumb. Like, we're in 2021 right now, dude. Like, get with it. it. I promise you, the input lag you think is going to be affecting things is not that bad. Nobody cares. Like, Mm -hmm. um, give us the option, and if we deem it not worth it, we won't use it. For something like Streets of Rage, for something like freaking Smash Brothers Ultimate, that needs online multiplayer, and it had a bad online multiplayer problem. Something like Streets of Rage having some input lag, I'll just be like, all right, I guess I'm not using the, the online. Yeah. So it's kind of similar to enough. Mario Maker. Like Mario Maker has online multiplayer. Love the fact that it has online multiplayer. It is trash. So I don't recommend people use it. <laughs> yeah. It's great that yeah, it's I there. Agree. It sucks that it doesn't work right. It's rough. To, it's rough to play. <laughs> it <laughs> is rough to play. Why you line? You replay Mario Maker 2 all the time. Okay. Unspoken. That's not replaying. I replaying. I play. I do replay games like I mean, Mario sixty four, Sonic three. You know, like the classics. Um, but I don't re. I don't replay many games. Scott Pilgrim, not a classic to you, Bob. (laughs) No, I've never played it. It's also a then you wouldn't be replaying it. Like I don't. uh, I don't. I don't value beat em ups. You know. Not the person, the genre, the genre. Just so we're clear. I'm gonna tell him. I'm telling him right now. <laughs> you replay games that mean a lot to you. Yes, Edible Jim Sock, exactly. Yeah. But also, like, that, that, yeah. I, I like retro games. I like to, you know, I have all these uh, portable emulation stuff, and there's a few games that I, you know, replay a lot on them. There's a couple. Yeah, of, I, I have like a bunch of games that I will test out on all of them like Mega Man X is one of them because that's that's mm-hmm. a good barometer for um Super Nintendo um yeah. Sonic 3 I always you or or Sonic and Knuckles I'll, I'll use for Sega Genesis um yeah I also try Yoshi's Island cuz uh that has some issues with certain emulators it runs weird Really Yeah that's a weird one to have issues with It is weird um yeah. Also, I mean, Perfect Dark, uh, Mario sixty four, all that, all that nonsense. Resident Evil two is one that I use on PlayStation. Um, yeah. You know, it's been a problem when I'm streaming these games on like when I've tried to stream games on like uh you know Google Stadia or Xbox, uh, cloud gaming or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. my problem is modern games take a really long time to give you the controls in the game. So, like, when you boot up a game for the first time, you have to sit through a yeah. lot before you actually can see how it plays. Yeah. that that That's just kind of like a, yeah, with modern games, it's really hard to just actually get to the point where you're in full control. Yeah. And, like, getting into it. I mean, I was going to say that our biggest problem with doing Stadia streaming is that we decide to do Monopoly. <laughs> which is a dumb idea. We played <laughs> Monopoly. We did a Monopoly stream on Google Stadia. It was a good time. It was great. Was it? It was great. You I like just, I just rage remember quit. that it broke me. Just snapped me right now. You like straight up rage quit. I I it, it happens every time with Monopoly. I start playing and then I just I fall apart so <laughs> fast. I also when I'm testing out these emulators on Game Boy Advance, I do, uh, I try Pokemon, but Pokemon takes way too long to get into anything. And, um, Mega Man Zero, which also has an unskippable, unskippable cutscene in the beginning. Yeah. Luckily, some emulators have fast forward buttons, which is great, but not, not all of them do. Anyway, uh, I think we're done. Are you done? Yeah. We're I mean, a little over time, but we were also minutes late. before I have to go live. You should have gone so. live right after this because I could have raided you and it would have been I, more I, damn I, time. I like, 100% understand that, but I need to eat food between yeah, us. I need to do that too. So I'm raid nice AJ pizza. and he'll just pass it on. Is he on? I've been raiding AJ like every week. Yeah, he's 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 playing uh, uh, Boy Zelda. Boy Zelda? Wow. Yeah. It's exciting. I'm sure I'll raid AJ. For the third week in a row. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all. Uh, well, not all. Most. 
uh dan thank you for joining us today it was very special having you here yeah thanks for having me it was a very special time everybody of course check out dan that cyber channel or that cyber guy depending on where you are um check him out on youtube also on twitch he'll be live in 45 minutes after he's done what are you eating what are you eating uh we're gonna make frittatas oh <gasps> wow i'm gonna make leftover yeah. pizza noise <laughs> uh i might stream tomorrow i don't know uh it depends on how much of my video gets done and i think i'm doing all right with that so uh we'll see but i'll definitely see you at least thursday thank you for being here thank you for watching and we'll see y'all later uh goodbye oh click that raid button goodbye. everybody hit the raid button go tell aj hello yeah